Hi everyone, Rob here again from the Department of Education at Cape Breton University. And what I'd like to look at in this video is how to use Microsoft Teams, which is a tool that we all at CBU have available to us, to schedule an online meeting space for our online classes. Now, if you look at the course that I'm working on right now, I have a placeholder here which is online meeting space and I have a, a little reminder for myself to add the link and the details. So what I'm going to do first is create that space using Teams and then I'm going to come back in here and uh, actually do some editing on this and add that information in for my online course participants. So I'm going to come to Microsoft Teams. I've installed the desktop application. You can also use the web-based version. Uh, and I'm going to create a new team for this class. So I'll just copy paste the name of the class here and I'll use that same name for this group. So I'm going to click on create a team and I'll use this for a class. Give it a short description. And it's going to take me through the steps here. Now, I'm not going to add anybody to this at the moment. I'm going to skip this step because I don't actually have a class list yet. So I'm inside of my group now. The next thing that I want to do is set up my recurring meeting time. So let's say, for example, we are going to meet for the uh, spring 2020 term on Fridays at uh, 11 a.m. Well, I'm going to go to the start of the spring term here, which would be, I'll pick May the 8th as a, as a first meeting time. Or no, I'll pick, uh, I'll pick May the 1st, because this is going to be for a group of instructors. Maybe we want to meet ahead of the start of classes and get everything rolling. So we'll pick uh, 11 a.m. I'm going to set up a meeting time here now. We are going to make it an hour long. And this will be weekly meeting time for transitioning to online learning group. I'm not going to add any required attendees at this point. Now, I want this to be a weekly meeting, so I will pick that it repeats. And I'm going to put in custom. It's going to repeat every week at the same time, but I'm going to put in an end date here, which will be the end of the term. So let's pick July 24th. And I will hit save. And that should be all that I need to do to set up the basics in here of this. Oh, I have to pick a channel for this. I'm going to pick our group and the general channel so everybody can join in on this if they are a member of this Microsoft team. And hit send. It's now in my calendar. So now I can go to my meeting time. If I want to join, I just need to hit the join button. Uh, in my Outlook calendar, I'll see this join Microsoft Teams because I've added this to my calendar. And I can just hit join. It's going to launch this year now and uh, allow me to actually join the meeting. So now what I need to do is share this information with uh, students in the class. So I'm going to go back to my Teams. And I'm going to manage the team here now. I'll get the link to the team. So this is a link to the team. But I'll check under Manage Team here now. Team code, this is what I want to generate so that uh, you can join the team. And I'm going to copy this team code. Because I will need that code for students to be able to join the team. I think that that code is all that I'm going to need. So I'm going to come back into my course in Moodle here now and turn editing on. Okay. 
And I'm going to edit this label here that where I have the placeholder. So I don't actually have a link to add because we're using Microsoft Teams. Our regular meeting time will be Fridays from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. Atlantic time. And now I need to add some bullet points in here because we're going to be using Teams. Meet using Microsoft Teams. Use join code. And I'll paste in that join code here to join our team space. I'm going to put that in bold. Get rid of the italics for this. Hit save. So I now have the information in here. So now I have the information posted here for my students. They know that we're going to be using Microsoft Teams. So to uh, get to the meeting space, they would install the Microsoft Teams app or log in through the online version of Microsoft Teams. They would use this code to join the class. And then when they go to the general channel for the team, they will notice that uh, there's some information here on the stream. They can go to their calendar. They'll notice that if they go to the meeting time, there's a link here in the calendar for the meeting. And there's a button when they open this up that they can join the meeting. They click on that, it opens up the meeting in their browser, and in their app, and they can join.